خلاص يا رجاله الناس سامعه يا رجاله لا يا رجاله We cross now to the head of the armed forces, Sisi, who is making a statement. He's saying to contain the cause of division. We must confront the challenges and perils to exit the current crisis. As we closely monitored and followed the crisis, the command of the armed forces met with the presidents in the presidential palace. It presented the opinion of the armed forces on any assault to the state institutions and also put forward the cause of the Egyptian people. The hopes were pinned on national reconciliation under a roadmap for the future whereby confidence and stability are secured for the people, living up to their aspirations and their hopes. Yet the address of the president yesterday and before the expiry of the 48-hour ultimatum did not meet the demands of the masses. As a result, it was necessary for the Egyptian armed forces to consult with certain political and social figures the parties agreed upon the following, a future roadmap plan. It will include initial measures whereby a coherent Egyptian society is agreed without marginalizing any individuals or political parties and putting an end to the state of division. It will dissolve the constitution on a temporary basis. The head of the constitutional court will hold early presidential elections. The head of the constitutional court has the right to issue constitutional declarations until a president is elected. It will form a national technocratic government, able and capable, with full powers to manage the current phase. It will set up a committee which will include all expertise. The Supreme Constitutional Court will be asked to draft measures for parliamentary elections and to set up a pledge and guidelines which will achieve objectivity to take up executive powers to enable the youth and state institutions to be partners in decisions within various executive powers to set up a higher commission composed of figures that are trusted and have credibility amongst all walks of life. The armed forces calls on the great Egyptian people from all walks of life 
to respect peaceful demonstrations and to avoid violence that will lead only to more bloodshed and to martyrs. The armed forces warn that it will forcibly act against anybody who acts outside peaceful means. The armed forces salutes the men of the armed forces and the police and the judiciary, the honourable men, the faithful men, for their great national role and their continual sacrifices to protect the safety and security of Egypt and its people. May God protect the people of Egypt and Egypt. Peace be upon you. That was the Armed Forces Chief Sisi making a statement to Egypt following a meeting with opposition leaders and religious leaders. He laid out plans for a roadmap for the future of Egypt until presidential elections could be called. He praised the work of the armed forces and the police and the judiciary and urged people to stick to only peaceful means, warning the army would stamp on any violence. You're watching live pictures from Cairo.